This is the battle for the Cyhawk Trophy. We're excited to bring you this rivalry between two in-state foes. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. From his own goal line, he makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Makes it to the 34. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And down he goes around the 37 yard line. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. That makes it third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 37. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at about the 45. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Complete and he stopped immediately. And he's taken down around the 39 yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. around the 24-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's scrambling. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line. First down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Plain and simple. If he doesn't come in with a hard hit to knock the ball free, that's a touchdown. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Quick strike to the receiver, and they push him out at the nine. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Excellent kick. Iowa State to kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Iowa's coaching staff so confident they know they've got 
a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense and just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's level at the 36. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. The Cyclones quarterback went down with that injury earlier. The bad news is it sounds like he's not going to be able to get back in this game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number seven makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. On the ground, right side. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. The Cyclones linebacker had come out of this game earlier with an injury. We don't know for certain, but it looks like he might be able to get back in this one. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Big hit there to stop it. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Iowa State is up a field goal. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Slings it out there incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 35. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Watch 32, watch 32. Here we go. Right, come on. He guns it to the right. Throws complete, he's got space to work. The 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Now he's flushed, and they got it. Wow, I absolutely love this call. It's a bit of a risk here bringing a corner, but he got all the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times the defensive coordinator will call a blitz from the corner, hoping to just maybe apply pressure, but this time he got all the way in to be able to bring the quarterback down. That's a big time play. Tackled after a decent pickup. intercepted that could have been a big play for the defense yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass this isn't much more than an extra point Iowa State holds a field goal lead he gets it up and it is good Downing has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Hands off to the left 
and they wrestle him down behind the line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Wants to go long and does. Incomplete. Easily was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Iowa State showing no fear early in this football game, Kirk, and they're looking for the upset. They are looking for the upset, and the longer they stick around in a game like this, I think the more that they believe they can actually pull it off. It looks like they, we may have ourselves a ball game today. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. Second and 14. Ball on the 31-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up third and ten. Iowa State with a six-point lead. He's under some heat. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Call him a loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Downing awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Cyclones are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. First down. From the 49 yard line, it's first down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Tackle made the 39 yard line. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. but he can't shake the defense. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 32. Iowa State is up by six. Down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it first and ten. And he hits him hard at the 22 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Okay. That'll bring up third and four. Let's go! Green and Green! Throws off balance incomplete. Allen was the intended receiver on the play. That makes so the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three.
The kick is up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at the 29-yard line. And he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Very interesting first quarter. 9-0, Cyclo. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Let's go, let's go. They're not ready. Let's go, let's go. Get up, get up. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 44-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled from their own 44-yard line. Second down. Set! Green 19! Green 19! Go, go! Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Throw, I don't think he got anything on that. The reception. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. That's a great tackle at the 30 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. run and he's brought down Montgomery on the run he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line that's a gain of two on the play that brings up second and nine Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Roger, Roger! 23's the mic! That's what I do. Tackle at the 15. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. It's up, and he got it. And it 
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Big opening! He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. Makes it makes an offense ten. so much more versatile. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. At the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 22. That's good for you. First down. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ready. Flat to the eight. He passes it. Almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's looking for six. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He's at the 40. Throws into triple coverage, and it's intercepted. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run, and he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Number seven makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. That's good for him. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. Mike 7, Mike 7. 
There he goes. Tackle oh, after a decent pickup. Calls it game six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. And he's tackled right away. Call it a gain of seven yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. They put everyone up on the line. And he tackles him hard at the one. From the one yard line, second down. Throws this one away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. In your face. Defense stacked in tight here. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 31-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Iowa State is up two. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. A seven-yard play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. About two minutes before halftime. Makes it out to about the 40. That's a game of 15. First down. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 40-yard line. Second down. And they got him. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. This is the eighth play of this drive. Iowa State with a two-point advantage. Set. Green 88. Green 88. Over the 
middle to his tailback. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and he missed it to the right. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. They punch it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. Zips it to the back, and down he goes at about the 45. The Hawkeyes use their second timeout. And he hits him hard at the 34. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Easy, easy, easy. Rally! Oh, Rally! Red hot! Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. The Hawkeyes had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Big play, and it's first and goal. Jack, Jack, Patriot, Patriot! That makes it first and goal. Ready, three, four, five. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. It's second and goal. All on the two-yard line. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 62-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He fights forward to about the 29. Well, we played a half of football. Iowa's lead is five. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. 
And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Fires incomplete. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. Butler gets eight yards on the play. That makes it 37. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Makes the tackle. That'll make it third and 13. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Loss of one yard. That'll make it fourth and 14. Downing to punt. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Iowa State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. He is drilled at the 43-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got some open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. Game of 12 on the play. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 36-yard line. That's a game of nine on the play. 
That brings up second and It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes his way to about the 22. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Here we go. Blue in the eight. Fires it out. And they push him out at about the 19 yard line. Second and seven, ball on the 19 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Mike seven, Mike seven. Let's go. Big opening. He gets out to about the eight. Power to gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. He makes it out to about the five yard line. Gain of three yards. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Five yards to the goal line. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. He really battled for that score. He's a guy who will make you pay for weak tackling attempts. Hopefully he's going to be okay. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice eight play, 66 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four yard line, and the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Good outside run there. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. On the ground with the tailback, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 40-yard line, second down. The Cyclones saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. The Cyclones running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. to the tailback and he's taken down at the 40. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field and they really shut him down that time. And he's taken down at the 25. Return for a gain of eight yards. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Quick throw, and now the ball is loose. The defense scoops it. 
boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Quick pass. They'll drop him for a loss. Green and he dropped it. Number 20 was the intended receiver. On the play. It's third and ten. Ball on the 24 yard line. Let's go! Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop at the three yard line. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Man left, man left. From their own 30-yard line. It's second down. They'll bring him down at the 46. Call it a gain of 16 yards. From their own 46 yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 47. At the 47 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Ready. Black and red. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Call the game of three yards. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Stanley fakes the handoff. He lets it go, and he's immediately tackled. That's a game of 20. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Seven, 
So at the end of the third quarter, the Hawkeyes lead 24-19. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike seven. Mike seven. Let's go. Red 18. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. And he adds the extra point. Iowa ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Let's go! Gets to about the 27 yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here's a throw, I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it 37. He's on the run. Brought down at the 33. That's a gain of five on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets to around the 42. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 43. Number 99 makes the tackle at the 42 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down around the 46 yard line. Jackson on the tackle at the 46 yard line. That'll make it third and five. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 49. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. And they get nice yardage on that run. Makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Up the middle for a nice game. On the carry. Gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Here we go again. It's fourth down, and they're going for it. Fourth and three. Steps out around the 30-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. 
makes it second and six. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. After a decent pickup. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 20 yard line, second down. And they make the stop at about the 11. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it third and three. He's under some heat. He throws it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And another fourth down coming up here. And you've got to think their luck's going to run out one of these times. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Again with the run, and he hits him hard at the five. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. State. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. If any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fires out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. Game of 11 on the play. First down. Man, From their own 36-yard line. First down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ready. Block 90. Block 90. Hot, hot. Fox two, Fox two. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second from their own forty one yard line. It's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. Iowa State's going to have to use their second timeout of the half.
Throws it and it's tipped away. Boy, what a bonehead decision. That's a free timeout you just gave your opponent. You just gave it away. Poor decision making right there. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. The Cyclones using their third and final timeout. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. A little over a minute in the game. Quick out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Around the 36 yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Aaron and that long. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Fires it out, and down he goes at the 47. Thunder! Thunder! Stops the clock with a spike. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Three down, three down. 43 is the fight. Here we go. Fires quick. He catches another. Brought down at the 44. Quick throw, and he's level at the 39. Brings up second and five. Spikes the ball. This is the 11th play of this drive. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He's going to go for the home run. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. The spike will stop the clock. We had a fight to the finish here today. 31-26, 
Hawkeye. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.